Hey, bless him on the Grateful Gas family. What's good? Welcome back to the Grateful Gas Sports Hotel along with myself and Frankie Fly. Morning, morning. Yes, sir. You know, here on every Thursday and Saturday, we come to you everything sports, um, sports and God. You know, we definitely look forward to being able to bring the episode this morning. Um, but before we get into that, about to get directly to the daily verse. Daily verse for the day of April 6, 2023, derives from the book of Zechariah. Chapter 7, verses 9 through 10, and it states as follows. Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment, and shew mercy and compassion, every man to his brother. And oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor. And let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. Amen. And again, it's from the book of Zechariah, chapter 7, verses 9 through 10. Frankie Fly, what's good, my brother? Chilling, bro. Just another day, another day closer. Still waiting. Ooh, the boy gonna be a daddy soon, <laughs> boy. It's, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited for you, man. I be thinking every day. I'm like, dang, Frankie ain't taking me back. They must be at the hospital, bro. <laughs> Trust me, when when we know, you don't know. I'm so excited for y'all, man. It's, it's awesome. So what? She gonna be what? Forty weeks next week? Yeah. So forty are weeks y'all... on Monday. So we had an appointment on Tuesday. She's still two centimeters dilated. She's been walking a lot more. Um, but if she doesn't check out by this weekend on Tuesday next week, they're going to uh, – I, I think they said something about taking out her membrane or whatever, and then they, that's going to get the labor pr- procedure started. So They're going to they're gonna per- they're gonna poke out that mucus plug. Yeah, 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 that. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. Nah, man, that's dope. I love it, man. I'm so excited for my brother and his family, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but – Right. Y'all know, y'all know, we got on the rundown this morning, man. We're gonna recap the NCAA men's and women's final four championships. Um, it was a lot of, it was a lot of controversy around the women's game. Um, you know, it's a lot. You know, America loved to tr- show their true colors. You know, yep. of that nature. And um, but you know, here, man, we 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 keep it all sports, man, all comp- uh, competition based. You know, and and, and and that's what I think it was. You know, um, we're gonna we're gonna tap on the Kayla Clark and. And the Larice situation, and I believe just like I said, I just think it's competitiveness. Even what um Kate LaClark said, you know, she's a competitor. She's one of the people who you know who started that trend, and you know, and she was ultimately she wanted to be able to be the last say so of, of that trend, but you know, unfortunately she wasn't. So, you know, that's what it came down to. Um, other players take passion in the game as well, and I just think, you know, with Angela Reese, you know, she just she was just passionate in the moment. You know, she. They work hard to be in that in that situation to be champions. You know, winning the championship is not easy. You know, on any level. You know what I mean? So, I just think you know, I just think that's what it was. I don't think it was it was no, it was nothing you no know, racial from either one of them. You know, none of that type of stuff to be oh racist to one another or try to be you know assholes or anything of that nature. Excuse my language. Right. Um, but, you know, but but a lot of a lot of true colors really came out of of of. of from adults, you know, like I said, I, but I love to be able to see people true colors and, you know, what they really stand on and, and how they represent themselves. And, and, it, and it's, just, it's just a shame, you know, um, double standards are, are real in, in America. And, but we need, we, you know, we have to be able to, like I spoke about earlier this week on my podcast, you know, you have to be able to set the standard for yourself and understand who you are. And, you know, like I said, you know, when you do good, good, good things, people say you're doing bad things. When you do bad things, people say you're doing good things. So it just, you just make sure you know you just stay the course and you know stay confident and true to who you are. So, right, facts, facts. Yeah. So uh, with that LSU, um, everybody know that LSU defeated um, Iowa in a, in a, in an awesome women's championship game. Yes, sir. Um, and then they defeated Iowa one hundred and two to eighty five. And then the NCAA men's game was with UConn. UConn defeated San Diego State seventy six fifty nine. I actually didn't get I actually didn't get to catch any of those. Of the game, and I had laid down. It was like, you know, the game came in like came on like at nine twenty. You know, what I mean, you know, I'm kind of a I'm kind of a more mature person when it comes to the bedtime. <laughs> I be sleep. You know, what I mean, no but, facts. And then I woke up and um I saw that UConn won seventy six fifty nine, but I picked them to win as well. After speaking to my father in law, my father in law about ten days ago, uh, that's who he picked. So I went with them as well. But they have a monster team, man. Those this two, they're two centers. Oh my goodness, bro. Yeah. Like one guy's like eight feet tall. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he he ain't eight feet, but he he pretty much up there. Brother, brother's humongous. And um, you know, but shout out to UConn, man. Shout out to a great season they had. 
to be able to come out on top as well to um to end the NCAA men's championship. I mean, at, excuse me, to end the NCAA men's tournament as a champion. So, nice. so cool, man. The uh the Masters start today. I'm looking forward nice. to that. You know, the Masters, you know, get that somebody don't get that green jacket at yes, the end of, um at the end of the tournament. But uh, it kicks off today at 8 a.m. It kicks off at 8 a.m. today, man. So make sure you checking out your favorite your favorite golfers if they're in a tournament. Things of that nature from your um your perspective on um, alumni and all that good stuff. So man, shout out to the shout out to all the golfers that made the tournament and uh, best of luck. Hopefully somebody from you from the United States representing us at the end of it and had that green jacket on. But whoever it is, you know, just a hey, hats off to them and, and again, you know, everybody have a great tournament. Um, Thanks. Transition over to the NFL side. Frankie Flizzle, we got some news on the NFL. What we got, buddy? Uh today we same as last week, we ain't really got much much to speak on um just based on the news that i see on the app ain't really nothing been going on i guess everybody's just gearing up for the last. there's been a lot of college coverage um yeah just yeah. nothing's been going on that i see that is worth talking about your hand your, your hand went over the mic oh my fault my fault my fault uh yeah um just based on since last week to this week ain't really been much talk just been prepping for the uh for the draft um, we have the the whole draft in order as of now. Uh, but we know teams are still trying to trade around to get more picks or get rid of picks or, you know, everything is just waiting for the draft. That's all I got to say on that. What do you What do you feel about the trade rumors with Lamar? What do you think about? What are you, what are you thinking about? How you feeling, man? Um, just based on what I've been hearing, uh, I think he'll stay, and because we're we're really really trying to make a push for uh. Odell Beckham, and that's all the news I've been hearing about as far as the Ravens who and who they're going after. So if if that makes sense and Odell is healthy, and that's more of a reason for Lamar to stay. But they also been saying that the Ravens only have like four picks this year, and that's not like us. Um, I know we usually have like more than enough picks, so that also could mean that, you know, he might be exiting and getting two first rounds. But, you mean, you never know, man. Any Anything can happen any given day. So it's all a matter of when it happens, everybody will know. And if nothing happens, then everybody will know too. So Nice, nice, nice. Yep. We, added, we added some uh, some more depth at D-line. We, we yes, signed Kentavia Street. Nice, nice. Eagles right now. We, we signed him from the Saints. Um, so he, you know, he, he was able to help boost up our, our defensive tackle line, and we also uh, rec- we also acquired Nicholas Morrow from the Bears this offseason okay. as another linebacker in our room. So uh, I definitely love the moves how he's making to be able to you know get small pieces um, in our room. You know, we got Terrell Edmonds, safety from the Steelers. You know, he, he's pretty good. He, I'm, I'm looking forward to having him as well. I'm just really looking forward to seeing our team get to work, all the pieces coming together, and. It's gonna be cool, man. It's gonna be yeah. cool. I love. I'm so I'm looking forward to. Um, like I said, I got some things lined up for us that we might have some. Um, some joint, some joint. Um, episodes type of stuff with the draft. You know, the draft starts off on Thursday night, so I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna actually. Um, you know, kick off our Thursday night episode. We're gonna do. Um, we probably do it that night, like a draft night episode type of vibe. Nice. Um, you, you should be probably getting off work around that time. Yeah. And then um, is this yeah. week? No, no, no. It's. it's I think it's the twenty twenty fifth. I believe. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me make sure it's that last Thursday of the month. Let me go back and let me see. Okay, real. okay. Let me see real quick. It is on the twenty seventh, April twenty okay. seventh. Yeah. So April twenty seventh is the draft kickoff. Let me verify. Make sure one more time. In the field draft. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's look at that. NFL. Draft. Yeah, April twenty seventh at eight PM. So we'll we'll kick it off and then we'll we'll end it off on, on the 29th. It should be the end round. So on, on, on from Thursday, we'll kick it off. We'll try to get like the top ten. We'll probably do like the top ten picks for yeah. on our podcast as it goes. It's gonna be lit, it's gonna be dope. And then we'll go um we'll transition to when we when we come back on Saturday, we'll re we'll review uh, we'll review all the draft selections from um, rounds one through three, it should be probably around that time, and then it'll yeah. be the last. Um, it'll be the last four rounds. It should be on that day, or last three rounds on Saturday. So, 
Um, right so we're definitely looking to it, and, and that's going to be great. So, current um, transition over to the MLB, Major League Baseball for this week. Shout out to the Braves. You're doing great. Yes, All right, our scores for today. Uh, so, games for today, we have the Red Sox going up against the Tigers, the Giants against the White Sox, the Blue Jays against the Royals, the Nationals going up against the Rockies, the Padres are going up against the Braves. The Braves have our first uh, home op- opener today. Excuse me, at 720 against the Padres. So we, we, we've done pretty good on the road. We went 5-1 and one on the road. So hopefully we can, continue, we can continue our streak at home and, um, you know, hold down the house. I'm pretty sure that we will, man. The Braves are looking real good this year. I'm, 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 I'm excited. We're healthy. We got good depth. We got, we got some, a lot of good young players that came back. But most importantly, our health, man. As long as we stay healthy, man, we're going to – we're gonna dominate our bats are gonna you know swing heavy and we're gonna you know play good defense and our pitcher our pitcher um depth is pretty good as well. So I love it, man. So shout out to the Braves. Let's see what the Orioles got going on. Okay, five hundred right now. That's not bad. Oh yeah, our gang got postponed against the Yankees. Maybe because y'all got yeah. y'all got bad weather up there or what? Uh no, bro. Actually it's been like amazing. But you know, whenever it gets warm out here, we always get random rain. So uh, I think it's supposed to be like eighty something today, which is shocking for April. But I mean, let me double check the weather because they said it was supposed to be postponed. Yeah, that's said, it. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to rain at eleven. Okay, yeah, it said postponed to. Yeah. It said makeup game is on April seventh, so that's tomorrow. Yeah, it's so they, supposed yeah, to. Start, yeah, I'm listening. It's supposed to start raining at five, and then yeah, because today a lot of people are supposed to be going to opening day, but. If it is, if they do cancel it and push it to tomorrow, I'm off tomorrow. So I might, ooh. I might, I might ooh, you know what I mean? Man. I my haircut, I'm out here, I might be out here for a little bit. Opening day lit, man. Opening day in any park is, is so dope, man. It's, Facts, it's bro. Awesome, bro. I, I, like I just told my daughters, I'm definitely looking forward to being able to take them to a game this year. Um, you know, especially in the probably early in the season. Maybe not, maybe like, maybe not, maybe like more toward the fall, actually. I don't want to yeah. get too hot because it get pretty hot in, in hot Atlanta, as they say. Facts, facts. Um, but um, yeah, man, it's, it's, I'm looking forward to. It. I'm, I'm glad that Major League Baseball season is back. Uh, baseball is great for America. I love facts. it, man. It's, it's such um, you know, a passionate sport. People, you know, it bring a lot of people together. It's like it's kind of like it's like it's you know it's kind of like almost it's it's, it's it's dope as football. Like the routines, you know, for football, you know, people people kind of do like the same type of routines with baseball. You know, they do tailgating sometimes before the game, and then when yeah, the game, you know, it's. It's that tradition of you know you eating hot dogs and you you know you having popcorn and yep. you know you singing at the game and it's just awesome man. The baseball atmosphere is so it's so great man and I would definitely recommend you know any baseball game take your kids whatever it might be man you should definitely be able to just go you know um you know take a look into you know going to a baseball game is awesome so it's a good family event. It is it is yep. great great environment. All right current Emmett, current Emmett, ah. Current NBA playoff standings um, hell, hell. As, of, as of right now are I'm about to go right to the bracket. Oh boy, it's, it's about it's about that time. It's that time, man. It's that time. Hold on. Play NBA playoff picture. I had to pull it up this morning on my other phone, but I'm currently on my daughter's iPad. Ready? We have the current Eastern Conference standing. From one through number ten, uh, we have Milwaukee Bucks at number one, solidified with the number one slot in the NBA um, playoffs. Then we have number two, Boston Celtics, number three, Seventy Sixers, number four, Cavaliers, the number five, New York Knicks, number six, Brooklyn Nets, number seven, Miami Heat. And the current standing right now at number eight is the uh, Atlanta Hawks. We round out the top eight for the playoffs. Um, but you know, seven through ten, they have to do the play-in bubble. So currently, at the moment, um, Miami Heat will play the Atlanta Hawks, and then um, mm. the Toronto Raptors will play the Chicago Bulls. Whoever wins out of the Miami Heat and the Hawks will become the number seven seed. And whoever wins, uh, whoever loses out of the, well, whoever wins out of the Toronto, out of the number nine and number ten seed, will go against the loser of the number seven, eight seed, and whoever wins out of the number seven versus the n- number nine, the 10 seed will become the number eight seed. So um, moving on to the Western Conference, top 10, we have the Denver Nuggets solidified at number one. We have the Memphis Grizzlies at two, the Sacramento Kings at three, the Phoenix Suns at four, the Warriors at five, 
the Clippers at six, the Los Angeles Lakers at seven, and the New Orleans Pelicans at eight. That rounds out the solidified top eight for the playoffs. But the number seven through ten for the play-in bubble um, finishes off with number nine, Minnesota Timberwolves, and number ten, Oklahoma City Thunder. So the same scenario, whoever wins from the seven to eight becomes the seven seed, and whoever loses out of the number nine and ten plays against the loser out of the number seven to eight seed, and they become the number eight seed. So yeah. make sure y'all stay tuned in again, man. Um, you know, following your NBA team, shout out to the Hawks, man. We, we Like I said, we, we, we're starting to find our rhythm when it counts. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to them being able to continue to, um, you know, just go, you know, find, you know, do what they can do to dominate and, and end the season on a good note. So moving on to t- tonight's matchups, we have Cleveland going up against Orlando. We have the Miami Heat going up against the 76ers on TNT. That's going to be a pretty good game. Thanks. Um, Joel B is the front runner currently now for the, the MVP award. Um, I definitely think he's deserving of the MVP award um, by being, you know, just being available for the majority of the year. Thanks. Um, being a being a uh, being a, a proven productive player on their team, you know, consistently things of that nature. So shout out to Joel Embiid. And very like, reliable. Yes, very consistent things of that mm-hmm. nature. Um, the Portland Trailblazers will be going up against the San, uh, the San, uh, San Antonio Spurs. Oklahoma City Thunder will be going up against Utah, and the Denver Nuggets will, will be going up against Phoenix for the late night game tonight. Moving on to Friday's matchup, we have the. The Rockets going up against the Hornets. The Pistons going up against the Pacers. The Heat going up against the Wizards. The 76ers against Atlanta. The Hawks. Toronto going up against Boston. Orlando against Brooklyn. Memphis against Milwaukee. New York against New Orleans. Chicago against Dallas. Golden State going up against Sacramento. And Phoenix against L.A. That's going to be a pretty good game as well. So make sure y'all stay tuned again. If you're uh, following golf, make sure you tune into the Masters. It'll be kicking off here in the next 20 minutes. And um, y'all be blessed. Make sure y'all check us out on all major podcast platforms, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, Spotify, any other major podcast platform. You can check us out at Grateful Gap Podcast. Um, make sure y'all, again, man, be, be grateful for today, be in the moment. Give God nice. glory for life, man. Uh, it's, it's awesome to be able to, I'm telling you, the things you enjoy, the things you don't enjoy in your life, man, you can't go through it without having life, man. I'm telling you, life is the best, man. So when you wake up and you have, just breath in your body, man. I know turmoil and things might, you know, the world might be crashing around you, but you can't, you know, you can't experience that without having life. So just, you know, give it your best shot today or whatever it is to be able to better yourself. And, you know, just live in the moment, y'all. Just, just again, always understand that, you know, we have God in our corner and we, we should always go to him before we go to anybody else. So Amen. I love y'all. Uh, Frankie Flizzle. Yes, Baby sir. girl is on the way, man. My boy about yes. to be a dad. So excited for you, man. So excited for you and your family, bro. Um, like I said, you know, definitely let us know um, if you need anything. Like I said, I'm be doing some stuff for you in for weeks. Appreciate and, um, it, brother. Looking forward to you know, like I said, I'm looking forward to man seeing you as a father, and you know, just just seeing your girls, man. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of your family. I'm I'm loving Thanks, it, bro. And, and it's gonna be great, man. Many many blessings. It's awesome, man. Being a dad, it's awesome. I'm telling you, man. Just be looking yeah, forward right. to, just be looking forward to, um, LOL surprise. Your baby girl's gonna, you know, you're gonna, you're, you're, you're a girl dad now, so you know, just yeah, be ready for all the girly girl stuff. My daughters, they be playing this, this little uh, LOL surprise something before they go to school <laughs> called Rebels on the Runway, and it's a jam, right. man. I be bumping to it, you know what I mean? So I, they be singing it, I be singing it too, man. So <laughs> it's cool, man. It's, it's, I'm, it's I'm, lit. I'm excited for you, man. It's, it's awesome. Even just seeing the journey from your baby girl being a baby to, you know, you're going to be learning different things, how to deal with a baby and be, you know, all this type of thing. See growth and ways to be able to handle them and everything, man. So it's going to be awesome, man. Just be able to experience that being a dad for the first time, you know. So it's it's cool, man. But it's a blessing. Wait, bro. We're going to see y'all. Yeah, man. I'm looking forward to them. I'm happy for y'all. And, and I know God got y'all. So it's going to be awesome, yeah, man. man. Make sure y'all check us out tomorrow for Fun Fact Friday. Y'all have a blessed day, man. Again, be in the moment. Give God glory for today. And uh, make the best of what it is, man. Until next time, y'all. We're going to see y'all. Frankie Flizzle, I love you, dog. Love you too, bro. Man, and you too. we'll reconvene on Saturday. Until next time. Well, so, maybe. Maybe. Baby girl might be yeah. here. But he'll keep yeah. you posted, y'all. So, I got you. And until next time, y'all. Y'all be easy. Peace. All right.